Ah, no, get off. That's not have messed up my controller. I'll hurt you. I will hurt you, chair! You will regret the day you rolled over my controller cord. You will regret it! You will indeed regret it, Mr. Controller. Oh, whoops, I started... Oh, hi, I'm Game Guy. I... Aquastar. Let's play Kirby 64. So, um, we're going to the beach. Going to the beach. I love the beach. It, it's amazing, man. Gotta love that beach. A volcano gives us the rock ability. That makes sense, I guess. So, you know, going to the beach. It's too bad we don't have the water ability in this game, because that would be pretty sweet. Speaking of volcanoes, let's get the rock and fire ability so that we ourselves can become the volcano. You know, you, when you want to be a volcano, you've got to be the volcano. There's just no other way around this, honestly. There's no single other way around this. So, you know, if I wanted to, I could go down here and swim around and shoot volcano rocks in the water and get a submerged sandwich. I mean, delicious soggy sandwiches are pretty much the best kind of sandwich, obviously. I mean, why would you expect otherwise? Seriously. Can't not expect such things. Oh, look, the green blob thingy that shoots me into a wall. Isn't that nice of him? He is just the nicest green blob thingy I could have ever had. I completely missed his friend, though. It's pretty fantastic and a half. There's a thing down there! I am not going to be so easily fooled. I am sorry, Maraca thing in the background. You cannot fool me with your crazy dancing. Only I can fool me with your crazy dancing. So, um... What was I talking about? I don't know. I think I was talking about llamas, but let's stop that. I'm gonna go ahead and try to eat this penguin. Because it reminds me of King DDD so much. I feel like freezing some rocks. I would get the rock ability with the ice ability, but we've already seen that. Let's try to get some original abilities here. You know, some new ones. I, I want the wall frog ability, but unfortunately, I can't get the wall frog ability. Frogs and me, we don't get along very well at all now, do we? I'm gonna go ahead and get the ice bomb ability, because it allows me to become an explosive snowman. I've always wanted to be an explosive snowman. I mean, snowmen are best made, you know, with a bomb. I mean, why would you make it with anything other than a bomb? Seriously. Snowmen with bomb heads, simply the greatest of all things. This waterfall is pushing me down, and I can't get that meat that just floats in midair just above my head. Unable am I to get said meat. It's a sad day in Kirbyville. Very sad day. So, um, the snowman bomb thing seems to be rather overpowered in that I don't take any damage ever when I run into things. I just kind of explode instead. Bummer, dude! It's too bad you couldn't possibly beat me. Well, I guess the one weakness of the snowman is that, um, well, you know, <laughs> he's a snowman. Snowmen are, by definition, pretty sweet. You know, because... Gotta, gotta go ahead and kill this cute guy, because if we don't kill the cute guy, we'll be, like, not cute in the slightest. Gotta, gotta, gotta kill that guy. Cuteness in Kirbyville is totally illegal. Obviously. So down there is a thing, and we totally got it. So now we're going along this way. Hi, painter lady! What you gonna paint for me today? More paint tomatoes? I'm, I would personally prefer paint potatoes, but not paint Tomatoes. Those guys are jerks. Thinking they are what they aren't. Actually, you know what? By pure chance, I think I needed this ability. Because <laughs> I, I wasn't even thinking about that. But it seems like maybe, just maybe, I needed this. I needed it, man. I, I needed this. See, look, down there. See that blue and black thing? Man, if I didn't have this ability, I would not have been able to do a thing. Oh, man. Wee! Look at how high I fly in the sky as a snowman with explosive feelings. You know, because most snowmen don't have any feelings at all. They're just like, man, I'm a snowman. I'm going to melt as soon as spring arrives. And then once that happens, there's nothing more to my life. But no, no. 
See, this snowman, he lives by his own rules, and he's like, man, when I melt, I'm gonna explode. And my explosion will live on in the hearts of millions as they fear me for the rest of their lives. So, um, yes. This is the river level, notable for being a river, because, I mean, rivers are, are great, I suppose. Hey, look, we can go ahead and get the light bulb bomb thing, but let's not, because, I mean, that's used, like, once, I think. It might be used twice. I, I, I forget, actually. It has been a while since I have played this particular Kirby game. I mean, you might remember eons ago when I was all like, man, I feel like streaming for the first time ever. And then I decided to play this game for whatever reason. And also some other games that will not go mentioned because one of them was already LP'd by me. You know, that Metroid Zero Mission thing, remember that? That was totally a thing that I did at one point in time. Hey look, are you the ice ability? I think you are. Ice is pretty nice. So, um, when you have the ice and electric ability, obviously, you, you get to run across platforms that are slowly crumbling behind you. It's very weird. Also, I can become a refrigerator, which dispenses food. I've always loved becoming a refrigerator that dispenses food. That's the greatest kind of refrigerator. You have other refrigerators out there that only dispense, like... Arsenic? I, I don't know. I don't know what refrigerators dispense other than food. I, I was going for a joke there, and I, I don't even honestly remember what it was. Also, I needed to have rock and fire. Man, I needed that volcano, but sadly I didn't have it. There's that little creepy black thing again that showed up in one of my one of my things. That let's challenge thing. Is that like a stick? I don't want to eat a stick. Who, who would want to eat a frozen stick? I mean, honestly. Well, I mean, I guess technically this isn't a freezer. It's a refrigerator. Although I guess it could be a freezer. I'm not. I'm not totally sure. Oh look, a boat. Hooray! I've always wanted to ride a boat down the river rapids. It's the greatest feeling in the world. Hooray! Waddle D, you sure are resourceful. Very resourceful. Oh no! Exclamation point! We gotta watch out or something. Watch out for that fish! Watch out for that everything! I love how we're able to slide along these things. As if they were, like, I, I don't know, somehow this thing has wheels, even though it clearly does not. I, I don't know how that works. I, I honestly have literally no idea how that works. But, regardless, that is indeed what is happening. And what is happening is factual. Factual facts have never been more factual than they are right now. Man, there's a lot of food here. I sure wish there was food flying in the air in real life. That would be delicious. So, um, this is the part where we run down the river. Can't go on the side of the river because we got candy here. Candy, by definition, makes you invincible. I mean, why would it not? Seriously. Candy, it obviously makes you stronger. I mean, any of those people that are like, Man, candy, that'll give you cavities and junk. No, they're wrong. They're wrong. Totally wrong. Because, I mean... Look at this, it, and then it just runs out for no particular reason as I become a refrigerator and refrigerate some foes. Ow, you bounced off of the wall that was the end of the level. How could you do such things? I, I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. Oh no! Spiky logs! Why do you exist? Why did I just jump into that guy? I don't even know. I have no idea. I will never know. Fear my hot dogs and cheese, vile fiend! How dare you think you can beat me, the great Kirby, with with, with um, the ability to um, spew leftovers and stuff. So let's let's go and spew something else, I suppose. Maybe we can spew some fire. No, of course not, because this is the burning variation of the fire ability, which uh, is is okay, I, I guess. But most of the time, I, I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. It's, it's just kind of a thing, I suppose. It's just kind of a thing. I have an itch on my ear. I should probably fix that by scratching it. But, you know, that would just make it so that my headset might make some weird little <laughs> noises or something. Oh man, that log is tricky, jumping on the platforms and whatnot. Well, I mean, it's not jumping. It doesn't have legs. You kind of need legs to jump, I think. I think. I'm not really sure what qualifies as a jump. 
anything that just leaps from the air without a care in the world, grabbing one-ups, which incidentally increase that number in the bottom left corner. What that number stands for, we will never know. Never in a million years. I'm gonna go become a volcano now. Bye! Take that, ceiling! There's a sandwich at the top of this hill! It is the king of all sandwiches! And we must go obtain it, because seriously, I can't leave a sandwich at the top of this hill. That's just rude. I'm sorry, sandwich. I will not leave you here this day. Nom nom nom. Nom 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 gulp. Delicious. Well, now that that is over, I guess we can go to the beach 2.0. I love the Beach 2.0. It's, it's the greatest upgrade in the world, honestly. It, it, tr it truly is. Truly a mastery of, of everything. Oh man, can I get the Maraca ability? No, I can totally destroy it. That's a thing. But, uh, you don't know, there's stars up here on this little rock platform that's floating in space. I get another try at getting the Maraca ability, but sadly, it does not exist. I wish there was a Maraca ability, that would be pretty sweet. But no, instead there are antlion things. Those are antlions, right? I, I, I'm not even sure. Some sort of sand trap thing, and that's a sand elephant, and that's a sand castle. Also, we're at the sand ocean, and that's a sand enemy, and these are sand dunes. And man, there's Frank back there shooting us from afar. What is his deal, honestly? I don't, I don't even know. I, I don't... I don't understand, you know, as a sentient canon, you'd think he would have a few opinions on the world, but instead he just shoots at you, and I, I, don't, I don't get it, you know, I just, I just don't. I don't understand, you know? How can you be a canon that has infinite cannonballs and not be a valid contributor to society or something? I don't, I don't even know. That fish exploded. What the heck? I don't even understand. I, I, I just... I don't understand. I don't understand. Why Why do fish explode? How do fish explode? Fish, by their very nature, are not explosive creatures. I mean, what the heck? I, just, I don't understand. There's something hidden here. What could be hidden here? Is it a hidden secret? I needed... Bomb? I think? I'm not even totally sure. But, we're leaving now. So, <laughs> that's important. I think I needed the bomb ability. Maybe I can get it somewhere here. Can I get the bomb ability at some point? I don't even know. I don't want to go over there, because there's a crazy penguin guy over there. I don't like penguins. They're, they're scary, man. They're just super scary. I, I, I can't handle the scary. I just can't, you know? Kirby is obviously a horror game, so we, we, can't, we can't go over there and be scared, because if, if we're scared, we're just... We're scared. I don't want to be scared. I think I'm gonna miss this thing, aren't I? I'm gonna miss this thing, man! How could I miss such an easy-to-get thing? I guess, like this? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and get the rock cutter ability, because that makes sense. Which is, of course, why I missed it. Instead, just got the rock ability. Because I'm so great like that, you know? I'm just gonna... Gotta be great sometimes. Oh, man! Now we're in the sky. What is in the sky? More beach? I love the Sky Beach. Sky Beach is great! It's my favorite kind of beach. I don't, I don't know. Oh no! These things sink, and I'm unable to move while on them. That's pretty great. What is up with that, even? I don't understand. I don't understand. Who would put a cake down there in the ocean? Because there was clearly cake down there, honest. Oh, well, you know, I was going to go over there and say hi to you, Mr. Fire Guy, but instead you were all like, man, go in that hole! Go in that hole. How, how dare you? Oh, well, okay, fine. I guess I'm not getting that thing either. And actually, I'm not getting that thing also. So, you know, this is a very productive level, I have to say. I have to say, this, this is probably the single most productive level I have ever been in. Th the single most. This, this part is tricky, because, like, these platforms just decide, you know, we're gonna f go downward that way there's a slope and these logs will be all like man now we're rolling it's, it's weird I don't, I don't know i don't know what to think of this 
which is of course why I'm going to be like logged to death because logs can just sit there and fuse together all they want. They don't seem to care about the consequences. I care, but do they? No. <laughs> What's their problem? I don't even understand. I guess I'm going to have to practically redo that entire level. Isn't it great? Yeah, it is. Got maracas on my head. Maracas on my head. Oh, man. I'm crazy. So incidentally, this fish over here hides the secret to my power. And also allows me to get bomb and cutter, which, um... Oh, it's this ability! I knew that. It's the ability that allows me to throw explosive shurikens, because, you know, that makes sense. I've always wanted explosive ninja stars. I've always wanted to be an explosive ninja. They are the greatest of all kinds of ninjas. I mean, seriously. Serious. So now we get to fall down here and then blow this up and oh man look at that we got that thing well that's one thing down time to get another yes yeah. yeah. swim kirby swim yeah okay see see this is this is what we gotta do we gotta go and get this ability now because obviously we can't have any other ability so, um, this is the Rock Cutter ability. It allows us to turn into familiar friends that you may have seen before in a past life. See, here we got we got a Rocky Fluffy Kitty, and I missed that again. Isn't it great? Note to self, do not use rocks in that particular room. It, it's, it's fantastic. Oh man, we're a Gooblob. This is pretty great. I've always wanted to be a Gooblob, but instead we need to be a specific thing known as, well, actually, owls are not very good at flying anymore. What about little birds? Are little birds good at flying? No, of course not. Instead, we gotta not have that. We gotta not have that. This is one of those abilities that's just like, man, let's have a reference. Oh, I've always wanted to be an immovable stone fish. That, <laughs> seriously. Hello, phone, you're distracting. That only took forever. We gotta be the hamster, because the hamster can climb a wall. Isn't that great? People who have never played Kirby's Dream Land 3 will probably ever be able to figure out how to get this thing, because, well, you know, it's not particularly obvious that a hamster can climb a wall, especially when it's made of rock. So now I get to play this level again in order to go and get that last one. Woo! Woo! One thing I found interesting about this game is that you can, like, hold on to certain enemies and they'll actually do stuff for you. Like, like some of these enemies will attack and such. Like, this guy will attack things above me. Not that that really helps me in this particular situation. But, you know, you know, it's, it's an option there. Like, this guy, he can be a stack of rocks when you hold on to him. It's pretty fantastic. And then when I walk over here, he's probably going to explode or something. Either that or he's going to glitch through me and I'm still holding on to him. See, see, me and this rock guy, we're pals. We're pals. And then this guy, you can hold on to him, and I think you start floating down all gently and such. Yay! So, I don't know. This is just one of those things that, like, I, I often forget is in this game. So, you know, you know, you can use that if you want. These guys will, like, perpetually shoot themselves out for you. Pretty useful. See, look at that. I totally killed that guy. Totally killed that guy. And then I, then I ate him. But, you know, it, it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna pull this guy back out. You know what? We're gonna destroy a boss with this guy. Isn't that great? Whoa, man, take that. You're all kinds of dead. Or at least you should be, but, you know, now you are. There we go. Progress was made today in the wonderful world of Kirbyville. Hooray. Thanks, Logs! You're helpful! Yeah, Logs are pretty much the worst, because of exactly that. Yeah. 
So, finally! <laughs> I guess next time we're gonna be going to this here level. And hopefully not have to play it three times. Hopefully. One can dream. See you later, goodbye.